You need to learn how to create business email accounts. And I'm here to show you how to get one at Hostinger. And just before we start, why not subscribe to the Cyber News channel? We bring the best reviews, tutorials, and news about everything hosting related. So just click that subscribe button down below. But what's the difference between a business email and an unprofessional email account? Well, professional accounts are those that use your domain name. Unprofessional accounts are Gmail, Hotmail, and other publicly accessible email services. Since everyone can register an account with these without any proof of legitimacy, users don't really see them as trustworthy. And the pro email is a bit more difficult to create and requires at least some proof. You probably can remember a time you needed some services, but when you saw the email, mail to washing machine fixing at gmail.com, you thought, uh, maybe not. I'll find someone more professional. With this tutorial, we're going to avoid all these misunderstandings. Well, to have a professional email, you'll need a domain. This domain name will be exactly what comes after the at sign. If you have any business or blog, you probably already have a domain name. But if you don't have one, well, Hostinger offers both hosting and a domain name for less than $5 a month currently. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up a professional email here compared to something like cPanel. Hostinger is probably the best custom email for any small business option, especially considering the pricing. Now let's go step by step. Go to Hostinger's dashboard. Once you're there, select email, then click on the add email account. In the next step, choose a name, which will be the information that will come before the at sign. So make sure it's something, you know, formal or easily understood by customers, like info, contacts, or admin. Finally, set up a password and make sure you'll remember it. But for that, you can check out password manager reviews on our channel. That's it, your email is created. You can access it by clicking on webmail, next to where you just created the email. Let's look at how to do the same with cPanel. I'll use GoDaddy for it. Once you logged in, select your hosting account, then click here to go to cPanel. Then scroll down till you find email accounts. Click this little button labeled Create. Choose a username and think of a password. Now open up the advanced settings and make sure that the email inbox has at least 250 megabytes of storage reserved. The only thing that is left is to create a forwarder. Both Hostinger and the cPanel process are pretty straightforward. Once you're on the Hostinger email page, click Select Account. And then select Create Forwarder. Select the professional email account you want to link and then type your personal account to where the emails should go. Save it and that's it. In cPanel, go to the main dashboard and from there select Forwarder. Then just click here and again type in the pro email and personal email addresses here. But what does a forwarder mean? All emails you receive on your work email account the one we just created will be forwarded to your personal Gmail account. It's a simple way to have everything in one place. Since the webmail program that hosting providers use is quite uncomfortable and really lacks more complex features that Gmail can offer. Today, we've learned how to easily create a free business email account with Hostinger and even how to connect it to your personal Gmail account. And all that is left is for you to subscribe to the Cyber News channel to stay on top of our next content. Oh, and if you have any questions or perhaps suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you all in my next video.